Supreme Rising Collective. May all be well with each and every one of you. Happy Friday and happy weekend to come. Hopefully you guys get a lot of rest, get some errands ran, or do what you gotta do. But as long as you're focusing on you and taking care of yourself, that's all that really matters, baby. Alright, um, again, Grand Rising. Um, I was trying to decide if this is gonna be a dream channeling, because I just arose and, y'all, <laughs> why are my dreams like this? Like, why? Why do I have to have dreams every single night that are so vivid? It feels like I am inside of a freaking movie. But it's really, you know, the parallel dimensions, future selves, past lives colliding at the time. So there's a lot that I'm finding out through my dreams, you guys. In your dreams, something could be happening to someone else. But this could just be an indication of, of what happened to you, perhaps in a past life or in a past time. So please be sure to, you know, flip and uh, reverse those rules, collective. But um, I'm also picking up on an energy. There's a masculine energy who was well on his way to becoming a divine being of light. Um, because this being, too, you know, um, shares like-minded energy within you. Hence the undeniable connection. Um, but they were ashamed and afraid of that side of them. So they did so many things to suppress it, drugs and alcohol, hanging around the wrong people and things like that, trying to like numb themselves through sex and having sex with a lot of individuals and things like that. It's just a lot going on here, collective. So um, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Look, top of the deck already, we have nothing to be... My bad, y'all. Um, the phone clicked off, but... What I was saying is, bottom of the deck, we have nothing to be afraid of. So, there's absolutely nothing for this masculine energy to be afraid of, nor anything for you to be afraid of, okay? Um, I'm going to keep it real. You will see this person again. And like I said, um, in prior, prior readings, I said prior, Lord, <laughs> prior readings, uh, this could take place like in passing, like the both of you could be traveling different directions or different places, but you guys may run into each other, say, like at an airport or something like that. This could have also already happened. Um, hmm. Let's see. We have a rainbow. Okay, something uh, to do with a rainbow. You could have recently seen one. All right, something to do with a rainbow baby. <clears throat> Spirit guides, ancestors, most high. I've just seen pack your things too, so <laughs> confirmation. Alright, so we have can't make them believe. Uh oh. Yeah. What's going on here, collective, is it's very hard for this person to tap into their inner knowing. That inner knowing system that lies within them. Somebody is too afraid to tap into that, and you can't make them tap into that. I tweeted last night, um, before you try to save the world, save yourself, all right? I have been doing a lot of reflecting, guys, and I realize a lot of my stressors and depressors were a direct result of trying to save everyone and everything outside of myself without first saving myself, you know? It may sound selfish, but it really is not. If one isn't 100%, then you cannot be 100% for no one else. Because <clears throat> eventually, you know, if you fake it, if you wear a mask, eventually all of that dissolves. And the truth is all you have left. So it's either you stand in your truth and you stand ten toes down in it, and you go from there. Alright? <clears throat> so that was a quick message. But anyhow, we have, it's safe to move on. Ooh, it's safe to move on. So what I'm seeing here, when you see this person or when you run into this person, you may notice and see that they're still, um, I'm about to get her up. You may notice, um, Naraya. hold on guys, my bad, get my baby up for school. Naraya. okay, I'll get her, just, it's okay, baby. Um, but anyhow, you may notice that this person is like still on the same stuff like 
I don't know, same lifestyle, same same get up about themselves, same attitude, same mentality. Meanwhile, you're like eons ahead consciously and spiritually. Okay. Damn, didn't we pull this energy yesterday? Could have sworn I put it in our already used up pile. Unless I had this like written down twice. No, I get up and brush your teeth and wash your face. You had to get up to school. Alright, so we have watching your house. Somebody could be like driving by their last, your last known address or something like that here to confirm or solidify if you're there, if you've moved, something like that, or they were doing this. We have space body. Okay, this is like a floating kind of energy that I'm picking up on. Something about bliss, contentment, and floating, if that makes sense. That is just the incoming energy that is, you know, coming in. We have hooked. Ooh, hook. funny how those tables turn. You were once hooked and head over here, but heels over this individual. But the tables are going to turn once they see this new you. All right, this space body, this floating energy. Okay, we have the number F. We have quest. Okay, someone is um, on a quest, on some sort of journey here. All right, we have keep yours close to heart. Okay, keep yours close to heart. This could have anything to do with, well, this could be any aspect of your life, really. Okay. Naraya. We have mood swings. Okay. And then we have the letter L. Get the toothpaste and the toothbrush. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> Let me get my head back in the game. <laughs> I'm so quick to tell y'all that. <laughs> but yeah, mommy do these out to comfort. But anyhow, we have some positive affirmations. So, hmm. You could be doing your affirmations at this time. Rewiring your brain and resetting that ego thought process. And that like negative side, dark side, bless you baby. Uh oh, go. Go blow your nose in the bathroom. Oh, shoot. Y'all can't have just blow out? Dang. So we got water sign energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That could be involved here. You could be heavily aspected, aspected in these energies. Would you close the door, please? Okay. Well, we have attempted murder and then the suicide energy. Forty. Someone may try to, like, attempt to take themselves out or something like that or make all some type of murderous hunt or quest um, due to their anger and their inability to, I don't know, like, get a half a second chance with you. This could have been someone that was, like, a karmic, toxic, you know, situationship for you, one in which taught you truly how to love yourself, how to stand up for yourself and how to maneuver in this real world and now that you are completely over this person you don't wish nothing bad upon them of course you just you wash your hands with them whatever happens with them happens with them you literally don't have any care in this world towards them and i feel like once this like it, it really sinks into this person's head because it like they still haven't had that like aha moment okay this could have been someone that was very you know abusive toxic and just all types of things and it's like they feel like I don't know they have you forever or they're gonna have you forever or something like that here and it's like once it hits them that they're just being delusional and you've moved on literally where they can see it with their own two eyes you with someone new someone that's like way better than them on all levels oh yeah they they yeah they gonna show their behinds this could be a Capricorn, okay, someone that's, uh, you know, the lower level Capricorn that is, that's in this uh, demonic energy, this kind of revenge, vengeance energy. All 
right, we have holding space for you. Okay, so, yeah, like, I feel like someone here could be, you know, someone here um, could definitely be ignorantly trying to, like, hold some space for you, feeling like they can still keep you in their harem of, you know, narcissistic supplies, which, you know, it's, it's just not working out for them. Um, it's not going as expected as intended here. Okay, because like what I'm seeing is you don't want this person back. I mean, they had their chance and they blew it. Okay, so we have, oh shoot, we have do not fear them. All right, so a lot of you, you don't have to fear them. Even if they threaten whatever, if they threaten you, if they threaten themselves, I mean, let them do what they got to do or feel like they got to do. I mean, you're protected. They ain't going to be able to touch you or get even 50 feet in your proximity so at this point it doesn't even matter and the reason why is because you're vibing so hard your light is just is blinding they're not going to be able to take it and a lot of you guys like i said you, you have spiritual protection and even the most just shocking situations i'll say like in the most what is the word i'm looking for not like I guess unknowing but that's not the word i'm looking for just in the situation you would expect it really thank you okay all right so anyhow we have starting anew let your opponent think it's a game absolutely oh. and then we have not stupid not bothered non-factor okay so somebody's in an energy where it's like, look, I'm no longer stupid for you, okay? I'm no longer bothered about you. You are a non a non factor in my life, plain and simple. All right, let your opponent, your oppositions, and whoever think that it's a game when it comes to you because it's not. You know, especially if you're someone who you don't do black magic on people, spells, word, thought, witchery, none of that. You're just someone who consistently works on yourself. You're someone who you know, consistently check, check yourself and put your own self in your place, in, you know, your place, yeah, they gonna have a lot coming back to them, because you can't just go around messing with people and thinking that nothing's gonna happen to you, like, that's just, that's ludicrous, okay, you know what, actually, I'm gonna pull some of these, get some tarot messages, what is the current energy, the current state of mind, and what is it that you want me to further convey for the collective? Yeah, we got the nine of, whoa, so we got the nine of air with the eight of air. Someone is still stuck in some sort of illusion of entrapment, or you're slowly but surely freeing yourself from this. Um, this could be based on fear, um, fear-based thinking as opposed to solution-based thinking. All right, we have the nine of air here. So expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies. Watch what you're thinking, guys. Watch what you're consuming. Don't take in everything. Everything isn't going to necessarily um, resonate with you, and that's okay. All right, refocus your thoughts. Okay, somebody could not uh, could be not sleeping well at this time. Could be these uh, this Capricorn or these air signs. All right, because somebody is just so hell-bent on like watching you watching what you're up to okay wanting you to stop whatever you're doing something like that because somebody doesn't want you to get far too far too far gone but for some of you it's like you've been gone you know emotionally mentally physically it's like you've been gone Spirit guides, ancestors, most high spirit of all things, divine intelligence. All right, so we have the nine of uh, water here. So wishes come true. Your dreams become reality. A magical time of life. Good fortune. Faith in the universe that all will be well and trusting. So I feel like there's a lot of um, magical opportunities that await you and that are, you know, around you at this time. And that's the other thing I want to mention. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing that back to me because I almost forgot. Um, a lot of you may be dealing with things, and it may seem like just no matter how hard you're working at this time, it's like, it's like you're going nowhere fast, but 
you know, time to retrain that thought, you know, retrain that thinking. It's not any of that. Um, it's not what it seems like. Certain things are purposely being delayed by the light side um, for a multitude of reasons. So you guys, you know, don't take it the wrong way and don't, you know, get too down on yourself or too negative with it. All right, so we have the seven of water here. So make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Absolutely. This goes hand in hand with this energy here. Okay. A lot of you have a lot of um, prospects. You know, a lot of resources that you can use. Okay. Um, this is also speaking of addictions. Okay. So someone here could be like struggling with an addiction. This could be an addiction to overthinking. Y'all, I told you, you can be addicted to anything. You can be addicted to victim mindset. You can be addicted to poverty way of thinking. You can be addicted to dim dumbing yourself down, dimming your light, because that's what you've been told to do and conditioned to do your whole life. Y'all, it's time to wake up and smell the coffee and see who you really are. And see the fact that, like, if all, it's, if all it takes is a switch and boom. Okay? We have the page of air here. Okay, um, oh, those are too many. I will pull this one because I flipped it. We have wise counselor, absolutely. A lot of you, um, like I said, this is the year, there's nothing wrong with going to talk it out with someone, going to vent with an actual professional, spiritual advisor, you know, some, uh, you know, that you have prayed on, not P-R-E-Y-E-D on, I'm not saying that, but have actually you know, ask the Most High for guidance and got cl spiritual clearance of this person from the Most High, then there's nothing wrong with going to a wise counselor. You know, ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. Exactly. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. Absolutely. Sure, go blow your nose on it. All right, so we have the star here. So have faith the future is bright. It really is. It may be hard for you to maintain or remain in that energy due to, you know, can you close that door? Due to things happening out of your control. But I feel like there is positive changes that are that are incoming. Alright, we have the light at the end of the tunnel. We also have page of fire. So this is speaking of go blow your nose in the bathroom. An amazing opportunity. We have be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action and do what you're passionate about, okay? So, with that said, um, you guys, I have too many distractions right now, so I can't. I gotta tend to the kiddos really quick. And I don't um, want to mess up the reading by, you know, taking the energy off of what I'm trying to talk about. But, um, yeah, all in all, um, do not fear them. Do not fear anything or anyone connected to them. All right, somebody just wants to... What I'm seeing clearly is just hold you back, okay? Somebody thinks that you're stupid. Somebody feels like you don't know what they're doing behind the scenes or what's going on here, but you do. Um, on another hand, this past, present, near energy um, that's trying to resurface, this person sees or is going to see that you're an actual star and living proof you're, you're everything and more that you said that you would become. And these energies are going to have to see that and they're going to have to live with the fact that you know, not that they didn't choose you. I mean, we're not in the pick me energy here, but they fumbled you. They treated you messed up. And whether they felt like you were worthy or not, I mean, that's on them. That's for them to deal with and work through. But all in all, that is what I have for you guys. Nothing to be afraid of. It's safe to move on. And until the next one, I shall see you guys later. Peace.